afternoon, everyone. This is Jared Rand, and welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call for 3 p.m. Eastern Time, March 6, 2019. When we desire things, when we want uh, certain things that we like, we want to get, uh, you know, it's pretty common. It could be anything. It could be position. It could be material. Uh, it could be emotional. It could be a lot of things. But the interesting thing is, is that if you ever notice that the majority of us covet and hang on to things that we want to try to achieve them, and how often that that never happens, and no matter what, the, the tighter we hold on to it, the further it gets away. And by letting go, I mean genuinely letting go, not superficially, but just breathing out and just relaxing and letting go and not be attached to it. See, we, we talk about the seduction of this illusionary construct that they have on this planet with governments and structures and all that, that none of it works. So what happens is, is that the civilization is cajoled into, uh, you know, chasing and, and having and wanting and holding on to things. Yeah, it could be as, it, it's even children get, get seduced into it, where they just desperately want something, whatever it may be. But the more you hold on to things, the more you grasp them, and, and the tighter you keep them, the less it is that you will have them. And some people say, well, you know, I've been able to get this and that, you know, with perseverance or anything. Yeah, sure. There, there are some uh, uh, avenues that slip through on occasion, but for the most part, this is why the, the, the civilization is so fractured. This is why it's a, uh, the lack of mentality and having and wanting and getting and, you know, getting and getting and having and wanting. And these things are always front and center for most of humanity. Uh, you know, it's just it's just varying things. You have people that have no homes, that basically live on the land, literally, uh, don't have much food, uh, don't have clean water, and they just they want just to have a clean place to sleep, clean food to eat, clean clean water to drink, and and clean clothes to wear, and that's what they want. That's they, they desperately uh, desire those things. Now. It becomes difficult for us to let go of things that we want. And some of them could be, you know, to us, life-altering, life-changing. Uh, to us, to, to each human that uh, is desiring something or chasing something or trying to get something, uh, want something into their uh, existence, into their life. Uh, you know, if I only had this, I'm going to get this. I'm waiting for this. I want this. And, and we've all been there. We, you know, it's, it's no real exceptions to the, the to that. And but if you genuinely, through the heart, mind, just let it go. Really, let it go. Uh, this is when the real energy forms and literally starts flowing to you, not away from you. To you. But it must be genuine through the heart mind. You, you, you see a lot of people superficially do that. Oh, yeah, okay, I'll let it go. But they haven't because the emotion is still there. The attachment is still there. And letting go is, and this is about letting go of a failed construct, a failed structure for the civilization. It's a failed structure. It is a structure of self-annihilation. It, it isn't. It isn't a, a, a productive structure. It isn't an encouraging structure. It isn't a, a, uh, a loving, caring structure. It is a uh, 
fabricated, engineered, illusionary control mechanism to eliminate the life on the planet. Letting go and being in with ourselves, knowing ourselves, knowing who and what we are, and letting go of these things. To watch what happens. It's the difficult part for humanity is to let go. It, it's, that's a toughie. People just don't let go. And I'm talking about all kinds of things. You're talking about, it doesn't necessarily have to be monetary, uh, you know, whatever. It, it can be uh, letting go of fear, letting go of anger, letting go of guilt, letting go of all of these things that, we ha- that hang with us. Fear, uh, anxiety, uh, stress. These things just, we have them, and we kind of embrace them uh, at times. So you picture, you know, see, visualize a civilization who has let go, that they're in their space in the moment, in the now, and that they love themselves, and they have no ego, and they're content, and they're at peace. And they they live in high respect of themselves in all life, and they do no harm, and they expand, and they reach out, and it, it affects this this wave affects all of the civilization. And the more of us that are generating this wave, the more of the civilization is affected. It's affected by the fact that. It begins, its frequencies change. And we're no longer holding on to the old construct of a lack of civilization, of a slave uh, structure. Uh, But we let go. Because guess what? We are already phenomenally abundant, wealthy, and rich. Uh, All of these compartments that humanity creates for itself. Uh, it, it doesn't, it's not effective. You can see, people say, well, how do you know it's not? Look at the planet, look at the civilization, look at the life, look at our oceans, look at our air, look at the, look at everything. The answer is there, blatantly, flaming, hot, showing, all of us. So, and this is true. By letting go, we open up the universe to give us what we've always had, and that is great abundance, wealth, prosperity, joy, unending good health. I mean, it's it's just not. And then, but we get seduced. We get seduced by things that are interjected that that uh, deteriorate or that dissuade you from doing something good for yourself. It, it, these. These elements are randomly seeded out there to deter people, to change their direction to negativity, to uh, bad things, to cynical, uh, pessimistic happenings. And it poisons them. And they begin to accept it and, 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 and embrace it. And it changes them. And their frequencies drop. If you have a high frequency... You are not going to be seduced into the goop of which you came from. You see, you already know what it entails and what kind of a life it projects. So letting go, letting go of of, uh, uh, guilt, of anger, uh, carrying old uh, hurts and and things with you for life, uh, grudges. Uh, I'm going to get even, or I'm going to, you know, all of these things. The only thing they do is they keep you from your own joy, bliss, and happiness. They keep you from this. Okay. We could buy everything we could possibly imagine and still be in the goop. We could have everything we possibly imagine and still be in the goop, if not even deeper. 
Okay? There's a lot to let go of. There really is. It's not just the, the material things. There's a lot of things that we must let go of in order to expand, in order to go in higher frequencies, higher densities, higher dimensions. The constructs of this world are nothing of what you really think they are. So if you will, go to the place where you're not going to be interrupted during this meditation. I'm sure most of you are. And as I talk, relax. Drop the shoulders. Relax your body. Practice genuinely letting go. And not out of fear, but out of confidence, without ego. Just let, it, let things... Watch what happens when you genuinely let go. You relax the body. Feel it lighten. Feel that euphoria come in through your heart. And vibrate. Be what you truly are which is love, peace, joy, happiness, bliss, goodness. And as you're relaxing, you're going to want to breathe. You want to breathe through the nose, out the mouth. So breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. And as you breathe in, You want to hold it 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. And then exhale through the mouth. And you're going to want to do this while I'm talking about six times, minimum. And as you're relaxing and as you breathe in, you breathe in through the nose and you're breathing in divine positive energy. This is everywhere. And as you breathe it in, it always conveys and communicates with you. It's just most, most people aren't listening. It's taken for granted. So as they breathe in, the divine positive energy comes in, and it, it communicates to you. You have everything that you have ever, ever, ever desired. Why do you hold on to things? Ask yourself that. As you're breathing, why am I holding on to things? It's not like they're going to go away. If my, my intent is through my heart, those things will be, come to me with no problem. I stand in my own way and block my own joy and happiness. So I let them go. And I spend my time and energy on knowing me, communing with my higher self, being in peace. And now, this in-breath fills you with tremendously powerful energies of which you are. Clarity, awareness, confidence without ego, humbleness. As you breathe out, you're breathing out all of the things that cause you to take or want or hold on to. We build up all this stuff, and most of it we never use. See? The more we fill our cupboards, the more confused we become. The more we just flow and let go, the more clear, the more buoyant, the more content we become. It's the knowing. It's the confidence without ego that you have that is overrun with lack of fear, anxiety, and stress. So you're breathing all that out. All the, the, the retention, all of the 
constructs of, of attachment and control and everything that drags you down. You come to the conclusion and understand that the greatest joy in our existence is giving. And we're not talking about money. It doesn't have to be money. It can be anything. Giving to yourself. Loving yourself. Giving to others. Experiencing the joy. As you blow all of this attachment away and you exhale, call in the purple transmuting flame, have it engulf it, transmute it, neutralize substances, jet back to the great central sun for repurposing. So, you're relaxed, you're breathing, you're acknowledging, and you fold into your heart mind heart mind is six inches below the base of the neck it's your heart absorb into the heart merge with the heart mind as you do this you're immediately met with your higher self your god spark your soul your spirit and it is one with you you are one with it it becomes all of you And you move effortlessly upward. You elevate. Your, your frequencies are smooth. They're toned. They're tuned. And they keep elevating. More love. More joy. More happiness. It never stops. You keep moving up. You wield all of these energies that you are. You move the energies move. The emerald green flaming healing light of Archangel Raphael. This is a true healing energy. The purple transmuting the, the purple transmuting flame. This is a energy of transmutation. Any negatives, any drawing, anything that is heavy, polluting of you, disillusionment, stress, anxiety, and fear, the purple transmuting flame eliminates these. It transmutes these energies, which are thought-generated, intent. You create these energies. The purple transmuting flame eliminates them. The violet ray, it cleanses the debris that stays or sticks and can re-energize and regrow. So the violet flame comes in and eliminates it completely. Fumigates. Then you bring in the white fire for strong and for strength, for power, and for complete protection. And the purple blue violet flame of Archangel Michael, a knowing, a strength, an awareness, a confidence without ego. All of these are you. You are the master and commander. You create the energies, the very energies that you fear, of fear, anxiety. These are energies. These are frequencies. All of these things we create. All of them. They do not come from outside. They come from within. We are completely protected all the time. So, as we are, as we are in the now, arm in arm, 
hand in hand, we form our circle of light. And it is bright light. It is us concentrated together. We float up effortlessly above the planet. We don't feel our movement. We just are. And as we begin to float up, we then know to call on all of our brothers and sisters, on all the light energy beings, in all dimensions, densities, frequencies, in all existences, all universes, to join us in this meditation at this time. Who are of deep eternal love and from deep eternal love. And they graciously and lovingly come in, in the trillions and trillions, as they form, and our circle expands beyond any comparison. And the light vibrates and brightens, brilliant. And we lovingly, graciously welcome and thank them for doing so. We call upon all the archangels, cherubim, seraphim, archetypes, all of the angels who are of deep eternal love and from deep eternal love, and to join us in this meditation. And they do so. And they come in the billions, trillions they come, filling the solar system, joining the circle, expanding the circle. As the light grows, the darkness wanes. The evil is disintegrated. The manipulation and greed is exhausted and exterminated. They are of deep eternal love and from deep eternal love. And we are very, very graciously thankful for them being with us. We call upon all the Ascended Masters, Kuan Yin, Maitreya, Lakshmi, Ganesh, Buddha, St. Germain, Sananda, Jesus, El Moria, Abundantia, all of the Ascended Masters who are of deep eternal love and from deep eternal love to join us in this meditation this day at this moment. And we lovingly, graciously thank them for joining us being with us, and our circles expand further, and the brightness of our heavenly light energy extends throughout the solar system and beyond. We call upon all of the inhabitants of hollow earth and inner earth who are of deep eternal love and from deep eternal love. We ask them lovingly to join us in this meditation at this time, in the now. And they join us lovingly, graciously, and we thank them. And the darkness is no more, and the fear is gone. And all there is, is deep eternal love. We call upon all of our loved ones who have passed in this life in all lifetimes that we have inhabited. They are of deep eternal love and from deep eternal love. They anxiously join us. And we graciously, lovingly appreciate them for doing so. We grow throughout the universe, all focused and centered on this planet Earth, Gaia, Terra Krista. We call upon all the galactics, all of the true heavenly sources who are assisting this civilization of humanity at this time with its ascension, with letting go of its bondage, its slavery. And to be free. They 
are of deep eternal love and from deep eternal love. They mostly are from heaven, the true heaven. And they are with us, and we thank them. We call upon all of the light energy beings who have chosen to be housed in the following forms on this planet at this time of change. The elves, the sprites, the fairies, the gnomes, the trees. The elves. The mermaids, the dolphins, the whale. The unicorn, the pegasus. The elements, earth, air, fire, water. All life on this planet. To join us in this meditation. And they are of the deep, from the deepest eternal love, from the deepest eternal love. And they join us graciously. And we are very much appreciative of them doing so. We look up and we see our meditative sphere. We created, holding all of our meditations in perpetual motion. The hundreds that we have completed and sent. And we expand. And this knowing floods us from the sphere. This happiness and this joy. It affords us the understanding of letting go and allowing the flow of deep eternal love, happiness, prosperity abundance and riches, wealth, unending health, good health, immortality, to flood us always, always, never to be interrupted, for we have stepped aside and we have joined our God selves and the natural order of the universe is complete abundance, happiness and joy. We are the masters and commanders. We are light ships. We expand. We transform. We know the difference between the lower frequencies of death and destruction and the higher frequencies of love, peace, and joy. We choose the higher frequencies. We let go of the lower frequencies, the want, the greed, the pessimism, the cynicism. It is a seduction to take our power and to use it against us in perpetual slavery. We know this. We are empowered. We move up. We are bathed in deep eternal love. We look down upon the planet and we look at all. And we're talking all of those who are with us, floating, suspended in the sacredness of space. Literally, we feel and are the collective consciousness. We feel... And we see all of our brothers and sisters, all life on this planet, those who are mired in the deception of want and have, coveting, keeping. And with a breath, we send out deep eternal love that will diffuse this gripping this standing in our own way of happiness, peace, and joy. This goes far beyond any construct that this civilization has been taught. We expel, we let go. Therefore, we communicate to the collective consciousness of this planet and all the civilization in life to let go in love, in peace, without fear, without anxiety, without stress, without hatred, without anger, 
without lack of confidence, it is a huge surge from the prime source creator, from all that exists, from the entire collective consciousness of the universes. It saturates all existence on this planet, all of humanity, all of the civilization. As you let go, you float. Your frequencies increase. Your command center is the heart-mind. It allows you to master all that you are. I join you in the meditation, and I'll be back to close this out.
Knowing that the only way of enlightenment and transition is through collective, consistent meditation. It is beginning to know yourself, merging heaven to earth, and becoming clearer and more aware. As a collective consciousness, we can tap in at any moment to experience the vastness of wisdom and knowing throughout trillions of years, throughout the universes. And we are part of that collective consciousness. Learning how to tap into it at any time we choose to be shown information of our knowing. Not false, not illusion, but truth, not deception, but what is. The more we exude who we are to the rest of civilization, the more that energy connects with theirs because they are we are deep eternal love we are these energies you take it through the rest of the day the evening the night the morning this is something that is not forgotten after a day this is something meant to become aware always, so that you are truly becoming the master and commander, that you navigate your light ship in total freeness, that your entire mission is to extend deep eternal love and transmute the negatives of the lower vibrational frequencies and to put them at rest completely, finitely, always, permanently. And to expand the light into the sacredness of space. And to create the balance of the universe and the collective consciousness of the universe. We will have a time for change call tonight at 9 p.m. on this line. I suggest that you have something to write with. We will also have a uh, riches, abundance, prosperity, wealth call on Friday at 9 p.m. on this line. I suggest you bring something to write with. We will be back here at 3 p.m. Eastern, March 7th, 2019.